a higher comfort when it comes to working with the clean cut dust extraction system more functions when you work with the touch probe and the surface profile and a brand new feature we take a look at the latest datron next version the update for version 2.18 my name is mark and welcome to this what's new episode of datron tech talk When you use the clean cut system with this head, you probably face the problem that depending on how your programming works and you have a nesting on the machine or, or tool changes, it would fold down, fold up, but never comes back down to where it's supposed to be. So either you modify your post processor that tells the program to go down with the head every time um, or you program it manually in. We have now a brand new feature and function in the software, which is called the automatic mode. So whenever you make a tool change, it will come back and the head comes down. Let's quickly take a look at the function and how to set it. So let's just say we want to run a program in a nesting function. So large bed like the ML cube, you want to copy your, your part a couple of times, but instead of programming the suction on, suction off command, in your code, you can now just say manual operation. Then you go to down to technology, chips, suction, and here's the suction mode. And so far we only had off and on. So the, the head and the vacuum cleaner would come down and cleaner comes, uh, goes on um, or off. But now with the automatic mode, you can just set that and it will run accordingly to whenever it goes to parking position, it would fold up automatically. For a tool change, it would fold up automatically and also for the length measurement. So that's a higher comfort. Let's take a quick look um, on, on such a nesting. We don't make any chips here. It's just like an air cut, but you can just imagine how the uh, program runs now. And by starting the, the program, with the automatic mode, the software recognizes every movement that is like over the safe Z height or in combination with the tool change and, and um, length measurement. For everything else, it would keep the head down. And also having this command line in the code can be sometimes quite annoying because it would fold it up and down every for every single like piece on the table, um, despite that it's the same tool and there's no danger of collision. Speaking about collisions, if you don't work on like flat plates and you have like clamps on the table or different like work holdings that stand a little higher, you need to maintain the retract also of the, of the um, suction head. So for this, you go under settings, settings, user settings, and then you select the default values for program execution. And there's a new function down here, the process sequence. And you can either set this to sequence optimization or to reliability. For sequence optimization, the head stays down in between parts. For reliability and more, for a more safe working, you choose reliability and the, the um, suction head will come up for or in between every part. If you're using the software options of the surface profile, so touching off irregular surfaces and parts, you might have faced a problem that you're not able to shift your origin. So let's just say you want to set an engraving, a text a little bit deeper or modify your origin. The software would complain that this is not possible with an active measuring field or surface profile. With the latest version, we have now a higher functionality of, that, of this. So we can not only shift the origin deeper to a different position, but we can only also use 
one measuring field over the entire table and run multiple execution with the nesting function, which is great if you have one big plate that you want to touch off at the beginning and then just run no matter how many parts you want to make in one shot. So let's just try this and, and demonstrate this with this um, spray painted um, telephone handle. So I'm quickly clamp this in the machine and we're going to engrave something on it. So we run a simple program now that makes this engraving, a little text engraving, in a nesting. So you can see in my, in my program, I have execution and nesting active. Now with this functionality of the surface profile, it makes it a lot easier to work on big plates and nestings in combination with surface compensation. Now let's speak about a feature that many of you have been waiting for. The user management. With this button down here, so far you just had the administrator or admin and a service login for a service technician. With the new user management, you can now set different levels for an operator, for a supervisor, for whoever gets different rights and permissions in the machine. So let's just create a user and see how we can even work with a USB stick to um, get that token into the machine and the level of access. Now we go to settings, settings again, and down here we have the user administration or user management. And on this page, we can create a new user. So let's call this user Mark. You can set a password for it. Just do four times zero in this demonstration case. And now I can set different levels of permission. What should Mark be able to do on the machine? Should he just run programs, load programs, and maybe confirm warnings? I don't want him to make anything more on the machine or destroy anything. So let's just say save. So that's a new permission. And now we have two different options or the user has two different options. He can either log in by clicking on user, selecting the name and entering the password. Log in. And as you can see now, the tiles have disappeared. So I only have access to the functions that are set under my username. The second option is working with a USB stick. So you just take your thumb drive, again, user settings, I'm in this context menu, put that stick in. And down here under user authorization, your USB drive shows up. And I can just create that kind of token here. Authorization file was created. And if I now go back, put the stick back in, I'm automatically locked in with all the permissions that I have. By just removing this stick again, it's a kind of blank page. You can't do a lot with the machine or almost nothing without logging in or just shutting the machine down. So these were the major improvements of the software. The latest version will be 2.18 and it will be rolled out over the next couple of weeks. If you've installed the software and want to learn more about the improvements and all the, the new stuff in the software, just scan the QR code on your main screen. Thanks for watching again. Hope 
you enjoyed it and if you have any questions regarding the Daytron Next or anything else just put them in the comments below. Feel free to follow us, we would always be glad about that. See you soon and bye bye.